Hey there. Um, just a quick video to show you a sewing tool that you probably haven't heard of before, but you might find useful. Right here, I'm sewing the Kringles on a sail. And this is rather old-fashioned sail. I don't think sails are made, normally made this way anymore. But the Kringles are the uh, the loops to which the the lines, the halyard, the tack, the clue, the uh, the sheet will be fastened to. And I've I'm drawing from my my inspiration from Ashley's book of knots, which is a book well worth having. But in this case, I'm, so I'm using, so this is like sail making, so this is sewing to the nth degree. I'm using sail maker's needles. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's a sail maker's needle is triangular in the leading half of the thing with blunt edges and it's, it's uh, forged rather than cast. If you've ever used a, a, a a needle and it's snapped on you it's because the thing was cast. These things are forged and they're quite strong. This is a number 12. A larger number indicates a larger size, which isn't always the case in, say for example, cloth. I understand number number 8 canvas is lighter than uh, number 2. In any case, so I'm sewing the Kringle and I'm using my my tools are the um, sail making needle, uh, tarred halibut line, heavy number I think that's number 12 halibut line, cake of beeswax, my jackknife. But I'm right here, I'm sewing through eight layers of cloth, at least. And there's just no way, even with my iron grip, I can force that through. And as you can see, I get, I can just about make it stick. But my tool of choice here is a harness maker's palm. And you've seen sailmaker's palms, the leather, they fit around the wrist, and they have a little spot like this, you can see those dimples there. Those dimples are to accept the butt end of the needle, right? You've seen sailmakers needles, they come left and right. These are harness makers or collar makers palms. Um, my grandfather was a saddle maker and I inherited this one from him. This one has the additional modification, which I think he probably did himself, that it has a hole board right there. Because as it is, as you can see, you've got a it's crank necked with a dish on the end so you can push the needle. I assume when sewing, oftentimes in a saddle, you're, you're lifting up a leather and you're pushing between two. So this allows you to, to push a needle in a confined space. But in this case, I'll show you how I'm using it. This is, I'm sewing alternately deep and narrow stitches so I don't create a line of weakness in the canvas. So this one's a narrow one and I'm being careful not to intersect any of the line of stitching. So I'm using the palm. Great thing too. It works equally well right or left-handed. So I use the palm, holding it in my palm, and I push the needle through. I can push it a bit farther, like so. Now in case, that there are cases where, because this is, as you notice, the needle is larger diameter forward than aft, and that creates a larger hole so that the, the yarn the, the thread can slip through more easily. But even so, the cloth closes up against it and sometimes it's more than I can do to pull it out. So this modification of the hole, I slip it over the needle past the wide part, I cam it by twisting it and it allows me to pull it through. So yeah, so it's a, it's a wonderful little tool. I don't think there's anybody making these things these days. It would be nice to see someone producing these in bronze. Those would be, those would be cool. But, um, See, I'd inherited that one with his initials stamped into it. I picked this one up on eBay. So, <coughs> pardon me, they're out there. <clears throat> if you think um, you, you could find this of use, I really recommend having it because it's a, it's a neat little tool. It fits nicely in the hand. It's cordless. <laughs> it doesn't break. And uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's the only thing that's allowed me to see, do the job properly. So once again, I push her through. And this is the sort of stress that a, a normal lightweight needle would, would break, would snap. But there we go.